Hello everyone. In this video I will demonstrate a keyword research tool called Infranodus that you can use to generate content ideas for your YouTube videos. So that in the end you get a graph like this that shows you what are the main search terms used by your potential audience to find the content that you're creating, what are the relations between those terms. So you can quickly see for example that uh, some terms are used in the same context because they have the same color and a uh, closer to each other on the graph, like in this case keyword research is used a lot with uh, another term called tool. So for example, keyword research tool is the recurrent search query and that I can clearly see from this graph. Or here, let's say I'm also clicking on idea and I see that it's used a lot with the video idea and even random video idea. So that's also something that people search for and then if I click here, I can see that people search for it when they search for random video idea generator. So that gives me a really clear and interesting insight into the search patterns of my potential audience. I understand the demand and then this can help me create the content that will be more interesting to them. I can also add these insights when I'm thinking about the titles and descriptions for my videos as well. And the interesting thing is that actually I will be doing a research uh, that will be related to this very video because I want to show it to the people that would be interested in this content. So naturally I'm going to try to perform a research uh, using the search term that I think you would be using to find this video as well. So we'll see how well it works. So first of all we will open Infranodus and then go to the apps page and we will start from a search query, a very general one, like for instance I will use YouTube content. Let's start with that. And here it proposes me the different import apps I can use. In this case I'm going to choose keyword research because I want to perform keyword research for YouTube content. And here I'm going to give a name to this new graph. Click visualize and what happens is that Infranodus imports related search queries for YouTube content. So what else people search for when they search for YouTube content. And then it shows it to me as a graph. I can see directly what are the main search terms used in correlation with YouTube content. For instance, I see that when people search for YouTube content, they also search for idea and video. And if I click here, I can see exactly which search terms those are and how many times uh, these searches happen every month. So for example, I see that there is uh, YouTube content ideas, uh, YouTube content ideas for videos and so on. So this is the first insight I'm going to write down. I can go into project notes and write down that I'm searching for YouTube content, but also YouTube content ideas is a recurrent search term. And another one is YouTube video content ideas. So this is something I'm going to keep in mind when I'm creating this video. Uh, the language that I'm going to use inside the video but also the title and the description that I'm going to use. It will definitely contain YouTube video content ideas. But let's move on and see what else there is. So for example another search term that I can see is related to those two idea and video is the term generator. So by the way I can use the graph for that but I can also go into the analytics panel keyword relations and then it's going to show me what are the most connected words to the ones I selected. So in this case it's the word generator. So that means that when people search for YouTube video content ideas they also use the word generator a lot. Okay? And then if I click here I can see exactly in which context it's used and how many search terms uh, happen, how many searches happen in relation to this query. In this case YouTube video ideas generator is quite a popular search. So definitely I'm going to add the word generator there. YouTube video ideas generator. Great. Let's move on and see which other terms I use. So for example here I can see creator which is a big node. If it's a big on the graph it means that it's used often in correlation with different related terms. YouTube content creator I can see here idea. Okay let's click idea. YouTube content creator ideas. That's also something I can use. YouTube content creator ideas. Let's add this into our list of content ideas. Okay, then let's move on. So for example now um, I can actually also see here that there is another cluster on keyword search. So let's see what there is. How to find the most search keywords on YouTube. Okay great, so this is also something interesting. Uh, let's actually remove keyword and see what else search is used for. Video search, most searched videos. 
Okay, so this is interesting because it also gives me this insight that there's a lot of searches on keywords and topics. So I will say YouTube search keywords and topics. And now I'm going to add a little bit more related search queries into this graph. So for instance, I see the word video idea is pretty big. So I'm going to type in YouTube video ideas and I will see what else people search for when they search for YouTube video ideas. Okay, so it's going to be added into the graph. I can remove the stuff that um, I already know about, content idea, I already wrote this down. So I select those terms and hide them from the graph here. And there I see that the generator comes up quite a lot, okay? And channel also. So let's see in which context those are used. Channel, generator is used with the word funny, name, aesthetic, and AI. And let's see here, uh, YouTube channel ideas generator. So that's quite interesting for me because it means that a lot of creators are looking for ideas for their channel and they need some kind of generator. So when I'm creating this video, I'm going to make sure that the word generator and channel are also inside because these are all related search queries. Okay. And one other thing that I want to point your attention to is that here it shows me it's connected to the word AI. So that can also be interesting as well because AI is a trending topic and probably I should also include it into this research. So channel generator AI. I'm gonna add this, save and move on. All right? So then I see also there's something here on Chrome Studio. I don't I don't know what it is. Let's see. YouTube Studio desktop site Chrome. So that's some kind of application that people search for. That's not interesting for me, so I can hide that. Uh, and maybe also creator free. Free I'm not so interested in because uh, uh, I want to promote the tool which we're using right now. It has a free demo, uh, but it's a paid tool, so maybe I want to uh, not cater to that audience. So once again, channel showing. Let's see what else is used here. Channel ideas without showing your face. Okay, that's an interesting inside that people don't want to show their face, which is quite strange inside, but okay, let's uh, actually write it down that people not showing the face. That's, uh, that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's move on. So we had, let's actually get all these terms back into the graph, reload the graph. Uh, if you click on them, they will get back into the graph here. And let's start moving on. So for example, uh, we had this keyword ideas here. We had the content and YouTube. Uh, at some point, I remember we found uh, this idea of search and how search is important. So here we have search. If we click on it, we can see all the different terms it's connected to. So let's say keyword search. So let's type in keyword search YouTube and see what else people search for when they search for keyword search YouTube. There I'm just jumping into the smaller clusters in this graph to understand the what are the search patterns inside. So I get these words back and let's say keyword search. So I say keyword search and then let's move on. So as you can see, because YouTube takes so much attention, it's quite a big node. So I'm going to hide it again from the graph just to uh, increase the relevance of those. And here I see a very interesting thing. So far, the search patterns that I discovered that are related to YouTube content uh, or YouTube keyword research, they have uh, a few distinct clusters of keywords used. And by the way, I can see them all here listed and I can also select them one by one to understand who, what, what they are, but I can also use the built-in AI to generate interpretations for their names. So I can clearly see the topics that, um, that people use when they search for related content. So there's one thing about SEO analytics, so search engine optimization. Then there's another one about viral challenges. So it's probably how to make your video viral, how to come up with that one idea that will be interesting for people. Then there is something about content moderation or content creation and also monetization, which I'm not so interested in. As SEO analytics is the most important topic here, which contains the uh, most keywords and also has the highest number of statements of search queries. I'm going to focus on that a little bit and zoom in and see that, okay, there is keyword 
uh, research what else it's connected to keyword okay topic for instance this let's see most search topics on YouTube so most search topics on YouTube so actually it's interesting because uh, I see that when people search for topics they also searched for keywords and vice versa so I will write down most searched topics on YouTube gonna save that as well so now I understand a little bit better that that people don't only search for keywords but also topics and probably the word topics is also something that should be in my description and then I can move on and explore the other cluster here with video ideas I already know that video ideas is a search term so I'm gonna select those two hide them from the graph and see what else comes up so for example here generator keyword keyword generator channel this is a constellation of words that is used sometimes not so much but 100 to 1000 searches a month is pretty good because it means it's not highly competitive but it's still relevant so YouTube keyword research for a channel I'm gonna save this YouTube channel keywords generator I'm also gonna save this YouTube channel keywords generator and by the way uh, the interesting thing is that uh, it actually gives me an idea for another video that I can record uh, on analyzing your own channel and generating some interesting content ideas and keywords for it. So this is how you would move along and generally you get a very good understanding of what your content should be about. So in this case, once again, to zoom out, if I would like to create a video about uh, using keyword research uh, for getting your content on YouTube in front of your audience. These are the topics that I should focus on. I should focus on, let's remove YouTube. I should focus on keyword research, on video ideas and how you can do this for the channel. So probably the title of my video is going to be something like uh, keyword research to generate uh, video ideas for your channel or something like like this or, or maybe content ideas for your channel so I'm gonna write this down keyword research to generate video content ideas for your YouTube channel of course it's gonna be shorter in the end maybe some of these keywords will find their way into the description of the video but as you see already the content of this video is gonna contain all those terms and also the title in the description so that that means that I have higher chances that YouTube's search algorithm will show it to you when you're searching for these topics right and then another interesting aspect here is that the graph shows you the structure of this demand that's very important because I can see that uh, those keywords are used in very clear clusters like people who search for keyword research this is one cluster it's kind of connected to the other ones but not so much only through the word video so the word video is very important but then when they search for video ideas for instance uh, it's quite an isolated cluster it's not so well connected to the other so that's also something to keep in mind that if I target those clusters that are not connected so well with my content I'm gonna address those three cohorts of uh, my potential viewers I'm, I'm gonna cater to the people who are interested in CO analytics because I'm gonna talk about keyword generator research I'm gonna address my content to the people who are interested in video ideas and I will also address my content to the people who are content creators and if I use all those three terms if you imagine it's kind of like in my video I'm gonna make new connections between all those ideas and as I'm making connections around search queries that are used uh, by similar types of people probably YouTube is going to push this content higher up because it will see that I'm catering to the gaps in the discourse to the gaps in the current informational demand so if a video can connect all those demands together at once it's probably going to be higher up in the ratings so let's see how this works I invite you to try it out for your own content on YouTube and let me know if you have any questions or comments and please also subscribe to this channel so you can get informed when we release new videos where we get a little bit deeper into how you can analyze the customer demand and how you can also com compare it with the current supply of videos on this topic this i will show in the next video 
So we will take this graph and then overlay it on top of what exists out there on YouTube on this topic and then see what are the differences. And if we find something that people search for but don't yet find, this will indicate a potential opportunity for us to put out content that people need but don't yet have. Thank you very much. You can try this on infranodos.com and I hope to see you again.